See, right now the question is, do I just do the makeup in the camera or in the mirror? Hello, Friction Cheeks. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joanna. I'm the makeup artist for And Then There Were None here at my campus, and uh, we need to do age makeup because the actors are all late teens, early 20s, but the characters are like mid 40s and above. Me never have been doing, have, what? Me have never done, I have, I, I know grammar. I have never done age makeup before, so I gotta figure that shit out before tech runs. So uh, that's what today is. I'm going to be trying to age myself. If I can do it on myself, I could do it on other people, hopefully. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna start by using this like nude pink from this LA Colors to blush slash also shade at the same time, kind of. I am putting this on both shade areas and blush areas. So cheeks, eye sockets, where the neck dips in. I'm now realizing my ring light might be a necessity because dorm lighting is absolute shit. That's definitely better. Now coming in with a brown and a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to start carving out the wrinkles and deepening the hollows. So, doing what I just said, starting with the eyes, paying extra attention to the eyelid crease and the inner corner where the nose starts. And now to get some wrinkles, a real big smile and shading in where the skin folds. You're gonna see me rubbing the eyeshadow with my fingers a lot. That's to blend it out and make it not so dark and not so harsh of a line. Okay, somebody please explain to me why the lighting is being picked up different when I'm on just basic video versus when I'm on time lapse. Cause like, you've seen in the last clip when I was on using time lapse, like all right here, all right here was just fucking washed out with light. But here I am in video. Make it make sense. Anyway, using an eyeliner brush because it's like nice and flat and angled, using this and the same brown as before to actually start drawing in so many fucking wrinkles. Again, big smile to see where the skin folds and then darkening those folds. Also scrunching my eyes to get the crow's feet and the eye bags and all that good stuff. Also raise your eyebrows to get forehead wrinkles. Basically just keep making faces and then filling in your skin folds with the brown eyeshadow to get wrinkles. Don't forget to scrunch up your lips and neck because those areas get very wrinkly as well. Using the same brush and eyeshadow, I'm gonna start adding vertical wrinkle lines crossing over the horizontal wrinkle lines because that's what happens with skin. Here I'm adding the vertical wrinkle lines that go down your cheek which are more from the skin losing elasticity and like folding over itself versus the skin moving. Now to get some age spots slash freckles, I am taking a foundation that is slightly darker than my actual skin tone. This is Sassy and Chic brand, and I'm also doing a bobby pin. Squeeze some out of my hand featuring my to-do list, taking the bobby pin and lightly dipping it into the glob of foundation and then just doodle-doodle-ooing it onto my face. Back in my <laughs> That was ridiculous. <laughs> Let the hair down. Gotta be hot granny. <laughs> okay, I need like some like gray powder to like make this look less like a 22 year old and more like a fucking 60 year old. I don't have that at the moment though. So just the makeup, no hair. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to think that the freckles are a little bit too obvious that it's foundation stuck to my face, not actual age spots. Um, I think this needs to be darker and maybe something that's not glossy, so like a powder. I tried using a, a, a brown eyeliner pencil and it just, it, it wasn't good enough. The dots were too soft and not easily going out to my face, so I opted for the foundation instead. Uh, it definitely works, it'll do, um, especially from a distance, much less detailed. So like, yeah, if that's what I have to do for theater, it's fine, it'll work. Could be better though. This is too funny. I think it came out pretty good. Tell me what you think down in the description box below. Also, please check the- mm, No, you go in the comments section. Speaking of the description box, please check it though because there will be a link to my link tree where you can find more of me, stuff like my Instagram and my TikTok and theater productions that I've been a part of. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and I am jumbling my words. Subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye.